Oh yeah, they tripping for sleeping on these. YouTube family, what up though? If you didn't know, I'm DJ Swaver and this is another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. If you haven't already, be sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell button right next to it so when I post something on YouTube, you get it first. Also, if you haven't already, be sure you're giving the kid a follow on all the major social media platforms. On this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at a super dope sneaker that I know for a fact is gonna have me looking clean for summer. The sneaker I'm talking about is the Pure Boost DPR that is a part of the Italian Leathers Pack collab between Adidas Consortium and Soulbox out of Germany. Now for some weird reason, this sneaker is not selling out at all. For every sneaker boutique that released this sneaker online, I'm literally seeing full size runs available for anybody to cop. Now besides the fact that the Pure Boost is not really a popular silhouette that a lot of Adidas fans go after, another factor that may be contributing to the sneaker not selling out is that super ridiculous price tag. A general release Pure Boost sneaker normally retails for 150 bucks, but since this is an Adidas Consortium collab, this Pure Brews retail for $220. Now to a sneaker enthusiast like myself, spending 220 bucks on a sneaker is not really a big deal. I could spend $200 on a sneaker in my sleep, but I know a lot of people that would never pay that much more for a sneaker just because it's a premium version. And that leads to my question for this video. Are you willing to pay way more than the normal price of a sneaker if you know you're gonna be getting super premium materials? You know, for a last couple Couple years in the sneaker community, people have been complaining about sneaker companies not using premium materials on sneakers. Whether it was the suede quality or the type of leather that's being used on a sneaker silhouette, you just saw a lot of sneaker heads complaining that companies were using bullshit materials. Most of the major sneaker companies heard everybody's complaints and they put out better materials on their sneakers. I don't know why sneaker heads felt like they were going to get better materials on a sneaker, but somehow the cost of that sneaker was going to stay the same. Life doesn't work that way. On planet Earth, if you want a premium of anything, you gotta be ready to pay more money. There's a reason that premium gas costs way more than unleaded. There's a reason that the VIP line at the club costs way more than the general admission line. There's a reason that limited edition and special edition sneakers cost way more than a general release. When a sneaker company decides to use premium materials on a shoe, the cost to make that sneaker increases. So if the cost to make that sneaker increases, I don't know why a sneakerhead would think that the price a sneaker company is selling that sneaker wouldn't increase as well. It's just simple economics. You can't complain about wanting better materials on a sneaker, but then whine when they give you better materials but increase the price. I mean, I hate to sound cliche, but you kinda pay for what you get. You pay more money, you get better stuff. You don't feel like paying money, you kinda gotta set up for some bullshit. That's just the way it is in this sneaker game. But of course, I wanna know y'all's opinion. Hit that comment section up right now and let me know if you find nothing wrong with paying a little bit more extra money in order to get premium materials on a sneaker. I know a lot of people out there are gonna be like, 20 extra bucks for sway? But I also know there are a lot of people out there like myself that'll damn near break the bank for better materials on a sneaker. Hit that comment section up right now and let me know your opinion. While y'all are hitting up the comment section, let's go ahead and take a look at this dope sneaker right now. Now this Soulbox Pure Boost is one of the best Adidas Consortium releases that I've seen in a long time. It's crazy how things have changed when it comes to Adidas Consortium collabs. A couple of years ago, you damn near had a better chance of getting an STD from a hooker than you did of getting your hands on an Adidas Consortium release. Fast forward to 2018, you can find full size runs of Adidas Consortium releases damn near everywhere. It's pretty much an example of how far Adidas has fallen off in the last couple of years. Nonetheless, when I first saw the pictures of this sneaker on social media, I knew it was a sneaker that I had to get on this ottoman. We got it right here on this ottoman, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. And this is the Pure Boost DPR that is a part of the Italian Leathers Pack collab between Adidas Consortium and Soulbox. I know a lot of people don't like the Pure Boost silhouette, but this one right here, bruh, fire. The first thing I noticed when I took this sneaker out the box is how premium the materials on this sneaker are. The majority of this upper is comprised of this very tight feeling knit material. When I'm pinching this knit, it doesn't have any give to it really, so it's not as loose as the prime knit you would find on an NMD or an Ultra Boost. At first glance, the pattern used on his knit material is very simple. But as I rotate the sneaker, you almost see like a cross pattern illusion going across the knit upper. This is my very first Pure Boost sneaker, so I'm seeing 
seeing a lot of things on this silhouette that I'm not used to seeing because when I buy Adidas, I normally only buy Ultra Boost or NMDs. The one thing I found super interesting about the Pre-Boost model is how far out the Boost midsole protrudes from the rest of the upper. It's super different from an NMD or an Ultra Boost, but in a weird way, I find that kind of cool. On the side of the sneaker, you have the three stripe branding stitched into the knit upper. Going into the rear portion, the sneaker transitions into a nice new buck suede material. I'm pretty sure that this nice new buck material was part of the reason why the sneaker cost so much more than a normal pre boost sneaker. As I've said many times before in previous videos on this channel, if I'm getting a collab sneaker, I want to see the boutique that's doing the collabs branding all over that shoe. That's definitely the case with this sneaker as you see the sole box branding on the heel cup portion of this shoe. On the rear portion of the sneaker, you have this veggie tan leather pull tab, which of course explains why this sneaker is a part of the Italian leathers pack. The inside of the sneaker looks completely the same as the outside of the sneaker, minus the sole box branding on the heel cup. The tongue of this sneaker, as well as the eyelet portion of the sneaker, has that same new buck sway that you found on the rear portion of this sneaker. With this being a consortium release, you have that consortium pull tab that you would find on any other consortium collab sneaker, as well as the consortium hole punch. You also have the sole box branding on top of the veggie tan leather tab. Just to make this sneaker even more luxurious, as you can see the inside guts of this sneaker are completely leather. The left sneaker looks completely the same as the right sneaker, so there's really no point in me repeating myself. The only differences between the two sneakers are the consortium tabs on the top of the tongue. On the right sneaker, you have the sole box branding, and on the left sneaker, you have the Adidas three stripe branding. The bottom of the sneaker has almost like a tan rubber sole on the bottom. You can also see the white boost midsole through the bottom of this sneaker as well. And that pretty much explains this Adidas consortium and sole box pre boost DPR. A very simple looking sneaker in hand, but I know for a fact this sneaker is gonna turn heads when I walk by somebody. On a scale to one to 10, I'm giving this sneaker an easy A. But of course, I wanna know what y'all think about this sneaker. Let me know down in the comment section your opinion on this Adidas Consortium and Soul Box Pure Boost. Are you feeling this sneaker? Are you not feeling it? Did you get your hands on a pair? Are you looking to cop a pair and you needed this video to kinda of push you over the edge? Let me know down in the comment section right now your opinion. Like I said before, this sneaker is pretty much sitting everywhere they released it, so there is no resale value for this sneaker. This sneaker retails for $220, and in my opinion, I feel like this sneaker is worth every one of those 220 bucks. But since I'm here for the people, I'm gonna drop y'all a little game. If you really want this sneaker, wait a month or two and I guarantee you'll start seeing websites dropping the price on this sneaker. To be honest, I should have been patient myself and just waited a couple months, but I wanted this sneaker ASAP. A super dope sneaker in hand, but judging by the amount of sizes still sitting on boutiques websites, it's obvious that nobody is really checking for these, bruh. And this is the Pure Boost DPR that is a part of the Italian Leathers Pack collab between Adidas Consortium and Soulbox out of Germany. A super dope Adidas Consortium release added to the collection. But it makes me wonder, if these sneakers had released two years ago when Adidas was popping, would they be sitting on shelves like they are now? Just another sign of how the times have changed for Adidas. If you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button, smash that like button for me, and if you haven't already, definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And when you subscribe, be sure to hit that bell button next to the subscribe button so when I post something on YouTube, you get it first. Once again, I'm DJ Swaver. This was another episode of 
Ottoman box openings. And until next time, peace.